May you have a happy and richly fulfilling life. Keep your head high, your debt load low, and your eyes on the prize. Don't do anything you wouldn't want me to hear about, and don't text and drive. Congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm sure you'll do great things in the future. Class of 2020, woohoo! Hey, all my Roosevelt peeps. I was so looking forward to graduation and hugging you and telling you how very proud I am of you. But let's make the most of it. And I want you to celebrate big because this is quite an accomplishment. I look forward to following your future journeys and seeing where life takes you. Mrs. Boyer loves you. You're always my kiddo. Congrats.
Congratulations, graduates of 2020. Praying for you as you embark in this next adventure of life. Hello, I would like to congratulate all of our past Roosevelt Roadrunners on your graduation and to all of the other 2020 graduates, congratulations. Your graduation is not only a time for you to celebrate your accomplishments in life, but to look forward to what tomorrow brings. Please remember to be kind, caring, and compassionate in your future endeavors in life. seniors congratulations on your graduation we are all so very proud of you uh, for all of your accomplishments that you've made over the past four years your senior year hasn't been one that anyone ever expected but your resiliency has been remarkable we are so very proud of you and best of luck on your next adventure congratulations
Hello, senior seniors. I just wanted to let you know how proud we are of all your accomplishments while here at ACHS. We know that you are off to bigger and better things, and we wish you all the best in your futures. Congratulations. Dear seniors, uh, I would like to take a second and let you guys all know that I've appreciated getting to know each and every one of you. Uh, it's been a joy. I know that many of you are going to go off and do wonderful things. You're going to make us all very proud, and I can't wait to hear about all your successes. I do want to give you a little piece of advice. Um, I think it's pretty relevant now, too. Um, it, uh, when I was a kid, my dad took me to... Uh, the river one time and uh, I was pretty young and uh, six or seven years old eight years old and we were uh, just barely into the rocks and uh, it was one of those rocky rivers around Wichita and so I uh, had to wear shoes and so I was in the water and I slipped and I fell and I remember just being the current kind of took me a little bit and I remember I was just scared I was flailing my arms around, splashing around. Um, I thought, you know, I was, I'm a goner. I thought I was done for. And uh, I remember my dad yelling at me, uh, stand up, stand up. And so uh, it took him a couple times yelling at me before I finally did. Uh, and then I, I realized that even though the current had taken me and uh, I felt like it, it was over and I was gone, um, I really wasn't in that deep of water. And so I stood up. And so that's my advice to you, is that if you're feeling like things are out of control and you, um, it just feels like things are going so fast, that uh, take a second, take a moment, and understand that there are people around you that can help you, that want to help you, that uh, are there for you, and, and stand up. 